and the next of his series, a guest to another tough assignment, he walked out as if he was the king of Adelaide. I've always found it amazing that Indian cricket is able to provide one of these all-time great batsmen every generation. Gavaskar quit in 87 and you had Tendulkar arrive in 89 and as Tendulkar was fading away, uh, then you have Virat Kohli, another great batsman of this generation that the world looks up to. Now, I've always you know, been asked as to what sets Virat Kohli apart. Now, all great batsmen of the generation were great in their own right, so it's never right to compare all the great batsmen. But one thing that I find very unique about Virat Kohli is his self-confidence. Uh, amongst Indian greats also, I don't think anyone has the kind of self-pity that Virat Kohli has. I'll give you an example. When he went to England and he averaged 30, now most batsmen at that stage would have lost a bit of confidence. I'm sure he would have lost it as well because it was a much talked about thing. They were talking about a second weakness and a weakness outside the off stump is not a small one because international cricket is played outside the off stump. But I'll never forget how he reacted to that particular series. After that series, there was some home cricket, there was some 50 overs one day internationals. And I remember him trying to make Ambati Raidu a, a batsman, uh, you know, who could be a frontline batsman for India. So instead of him himself batting at number three, he was captaining a series where Dhoni was resting, he pushed Ambati Raidu at number three. Now, any other batsman I have, and I've seen batsmen from close quarters and watched a lot of batsmen, if they had a post series, uh, test match, they just to choke the wall and for themselves as well. And to be fair, it's not a bad call at all. They want to play every possible game and get some runs at the international level to show that they're back in form. And often we confuse the formats, you know, test with one day or But Virat Kohli didn't care about batting at number three and getting runs in that home series against Sri Lanka and to show the world that he was back in form because that England uh, series was talked about a lot. So he didn't bother with it. It showed that he didn't care too much about what people think and care too much about runs at the, in this format uh, against a team that's not one of the great teams. Uh, so, Virat Kohli, let's go of that opportunity. But the next series is in Australia. Another tough assignment. And I'll never forget how he walked out in that first test match at Adelaide. So, here's a man in the last series averaging 13 in the home of you know, cricket in England and the next of his series, I guess it's really another tough assignment. He walked out as if he was the king of Adelaide and he gets a hundred and ended up getting four hundred in that series. And he said after the series that, you know, there was a chance I would have got the fifth as well if I had played differently. So just shows the man, uh, you know, what he's all about. So how he bounced back from that uh, series uh, against England was that his self-confidence there are just layers and layers of self-confidence that he had and I keep saying that that one particular series would have just maybe scratched the surface a little bit because deep down that self-belief and confidence remain uh, and the reason I gave him didn't bother getting run in that one day uh, tournament in India went to Australia as if nothing had happened before I know different conditions and all that but I've seen People carry their bad form from one format to the other, different conditions. They were not Virat Kohli. And that day, and that series told me that this man is just made of a different kind of heart. So when you look at all the great batsmen that play for India, what separates Virat Kohli from the others is that I think this guy has more self belief than I've seen in any Indian batsman. And that particular uh, example, bouncing back from England, was one you know, very clear example of.